Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to fill your Outlook calendar with information. You might be in the process of moving from a paper-based calendar, a file of facts or something, into using the Outlook calendar. And uh, I'm going to show you some ways how to do that to be very efficient. The most simple way, in my opinion, of adding something into your calendar is simply selecting the range where you have your appointment and just typing in the information. Like that. Just typing in and pressing enter. And there you have the information in your calendar. And of course your coworkers can see it. It might get synchronized with your phone. And all that information is right there. So that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing the same thing is simply double clicking. You can double click anywhere in the empty white space and that will create a new appointment. And then you can select the range for this. As you see, by default, I clicked on 10 a.m. here, so it picked that, and it's the default appointment length is 30 minutes. Like that. The third way of adding something to your calendar is, again, selecting something and then clicking this new appointment button here. Or if you want to get really advanced with keyboard shortcut, you can use the Control n shortcut there. And as you see, that picked up what I selected again. we go. So that's three different ways of adding something to the calendar. Now once you have something in the calendar you can do a lot of good things with it. For example you can move these around if the customer A meeting here changes you can move it around by dragging just like you would do in the solitaire game. Just selecting it and changing it. You can actually also change the duration of the meeting by selecting these little white boxes here and dragging the length of the meeting like that or change the start time by selecting this, the, the white box on the top there so uh, that's two ways of changing the time if you have a lot of repeating uh, appointments there are several ways of doing that first you can drag and change the meeting but holding down the control key on the keyboard now I have another meeting and you see it's dragging and dropping with a copy there so you might have done that in Windows, and that's the same thing with, with um, appointments here. A further way of doing it is using the Control c keyboard sh uh, shortcut, Control c and then I click over here and press Control v and then we have a copy of that appointment right there. A further way of adding appointments quickly is using recurring meetings. So let's say we have a Friday morning meeting here, then I can simply select that time again, create a new appointment, and we have a button here with recurrence. So, Friday morning meeting. And we know that's going to happen every Friday morning. And it's going to happen all the way to Christmas. So, this appointment recurrence dialog, let me tell you it's going to happen. I'd, I don't have to change that much here. I, it runs every week on Friday. And it ends. Let's see that this continues up until Christmas. So, let's do that up until Friday the um, 19th before Christmas and then I can save and close that and as you see now if I go to next week I have the same Friday morning meeting every week another way of adding information into your calendar is by using emails if you get um, some travel information like in this example here and just drag that email straight into your calendar it will actually create an appointment right there uh, it won't understand the text in the email, especially not if it's in Swedish like this one, but you can add the information like this. You can of course set the dates accordingly and the times and then save it and it will end up in your calendars with all the information for traveling. So here we go, that's the travel confirmation there. I can just move that right over there. So if I was traveling to customer A, I would have the information for my travel right there. Now, in my calendar, I have a lot of traveling and a lot of customer meetings. And um, so I find it very useful to categorize my meetings with colors. So if I right click a meeting or actually just go up here, but anyhow, I go into the categorize list here, same thing up here, then I can go ahead and assign colors to different things that I'm doing. For example, I'm traveling quite a bit, so I want to use the orange for my travels. First time I use orange here, 
I get the, the um, option to name that color. I'm gonna select travel here. And then at custom ray, I'm doing teaching. So I'm gonna color that with yellow. And then I can just go on and do that. And that makes the calendar a lot easier to get an overview of. So you can you know, determine what you're doing. That concludes my demonstration on how to fill your information with, into your calendar. I'll create another demonstration about how to invite people to having meetings with you, which is, of course, the next step. Thank you for watching this one.